Hello everybody, this is Nacho Addict, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do straight tape cuts. Now this isn't a guide on how to do tape designs, it's just a guide that shows you how to make clean, straight strips of tape that you can use to decorate your mods. Now I get this question a lot, how do you make your tape cleaner or straighter or better looking? Well, there's two ways to do it. Either you can use scissors, and this is the primary way I do it, or you can go with a ruler and an X-Acto knife. Now for the scissor method, what you want to do is take that piece of tape that you want to cut, stick one end of it onto a stationary object such as a desk, and then pull it so that it's tight and taut with one hand, and then you can use your scissors to cut a strip off of it. Okay, I'm uh, filming this in two days because I didn't have enough time to do it in one day, so that's why uh, I change clothes and I don't change clothes like 50 times a day. So anyway, the reason why uh, the scissor method works when you apply it to the end of a desk or something and pull it is because when you cut it um, with a hand just like this without, without putting it on anything, the tape is not stationary. It can move around and that's probably why if you do it this way, uh, your tape might not as uh, might not be as clean. Also, when you're cutting tape, it does take a little bit of practice. Chances are, if this is your first time cutting electrical tape for your mods, uh, it's not going to be the best that you'll ever cut. So, don't be discouraged if uh, it doesn't work out the first time. Now, for the X-Acto knife and ruler method, what you're going to do is take your section of tape that you want to cut and put it onto a clean, flat surface that you, you don't mind will get cut up because Obviously, if you're doing this on your couch, uh, it's probably not a good idea. So, you can use like an old desk, like mine. Mine has a lot of nasty marks and cut, and I don't really care that much about it. Or you can use something like a cutting board that you use for cooking. So what you're going to do is take, take your ruler and line it up. You kind of have to eyeball this, and then just take your knife and follow the ruler and cut it like that. And then you can peel away the piece of tape that you just cut. Now the only problem that I find with this method is that after you stick it onto something, if you leave it there for too long and then you cut it and you peel it off, or you, you put it onto something and you peel it off multiple times, the glue on the back of the tape is not as strong. That's the only that's the only down part. Usually it will be fine, but then there's always that small chance that it'll happen and, and your tape might end up falling off. But either method is okay. I I just use the scissor method because I've used it since I've started modding and it's just easier for me. But again in terms of um, cleanness, it's probably easier for people to use the knife and ruler method because it, it's just, I mean, with this you have to have a steady hand and you have to make sure that, that your tape's not moving and it's all straight and parallel and flat. But with this you can just go cut, cut, cut and you're done. The only instance where I would suggest this is for beginner modders who might not have the tools like this laying around so that they can just take, I mean, it isn't, my scissors are like scissors for cutting meat, which I found in my house. so. Even things like uh, safety scissors, I think you can use those as long as they're uh, slightly sharp. If they're dull, obviously it will be really hard to, to cut the tape. Now I know for my simple tape design guide, I didn't really address exactly how I cut the tape, but basically it's the same two methods that I showed you today. Either you can use scissors or you can use knife and ruler. So I hope this guide helps some of you and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks.